when Yarra Glen staged the first Pride game, when one of their players, Jason Ball, came out a few years ago, we were really inspired by that. And so St Kilda took the opportunity to work with Yarra Glen Football Club, to work with Vic Health, to work with other community partners, to say, hey, can we take this great community initiative and shine a light on it for the broader community? Well, growing up, the football club felt like the one place that I would never be able to come out. Homophobic language was regularly used and it left me really scared to be myself. Every day in Victoria, the LGBTI community somewhere is being discriminated. Whether it's in the workforce, whether it's in the street, whether it's in schools, or whether it's in a sporting club. Uh, many Victorians play sport or want to play sport, but we know that over 70% of our community has been discriminated against in those spaces. So language is really important, being an inclusive club, all these things make people want to join, join in and have fun and, and feel included. Pride Game wasn't just about saying no to homophobia, but it was actually sending a really powerful message of acceptance and inclusion for LGBTI people who for so long haven't felt safe and welcome within the world of sport. Sport can play a big role in, uh, in, in galvanising a whole community around being LGBTI inclusive. By unlocking stories of people that fans could relate to, it helped us to demonstrate why this was such an important issue and it helped people to connect the dots between footy, um, passion and diversity and recognising that not everyone has belonged to the footy but that we're a much stronger game if everyone does feel welcome. The Pride Game was a real message of hope for young people who are LGBTI to know that they can be themselves within the world of sport and that they are going to be accepted. Sport has been one of the most homophobic environments for LGBTI people, but to have the rainbow, that international symbol of gay pride, splashed across the 50 metre line and in the cheer squads and the goal umpire flags was just such a powerful symbolic message to our community power of that imagery, the power of those symbols to welcome members of the LGBTI community to come to our game and feel like, hey, we belong here, was really important for us. And I encourage other organisations to think about the power of symbols and how you utilise them to open up your organisation. We have an obligation to lead, we have an obligation to have the hard conversations. And I think the first ever Pride game really demonstrated that if you embrace that opportunity, it can have a really powerful impact for good. I think as a result of the Pride game, we've really seen community attitudes shift when it comes to the use of homophobic language, but there's so much more that needs to be done because this was just one game. Uh, there's 18 teams that play AFL who could benefit from doing something like this, and there are a whole host of other sporting codes that could also get involved. I think for any sporting organisation looking to champion diversity, one of the things that you really benefit from is engaging with partners the people who can help you on the journey. If there's a club or a group or a different sports code that's looking to do a Pride game, I'd say go for it. And there's a lot of people that can assist you because this is not the first time. A Pride game is a great way to educate about LGBTI issues. You know, people come along and they go home learning and knowing more. You can have a luncheon, you can have guest speakers. It's a great way to engage people. I guess we'll know we've been a success when we don't need to have a Pride game. Vic Health is proud to support the Pride Game and we want everyone, regardless of their sexuality, to feel comfortable playing, watching and umpiring no matter what the sport. This footy game shows us the way. It's absolutely time to blow the whistle on discrimination.